Last month, I created an AI-powered chatbot for our support channel here at squarespacethemes.com, and I'm now in the process of evaluating uh, the responses. So the next 100 support tickets that we get in, um, I'm going to pass them all through our support bot here and uh, see how well, you know, see how well it responds. Now, what I'm looking for is... I'm looking to use these 100 uh, tickets as like, you know, let's say we get 99 out of 100. I think that's pretty good. And if that's the case, then I will, um, you know, or when we reach that point, I'll make this so that customers can interact with it. So even though it's on the site now, um, it's hidden and only, uh, you know, only I can interact with it. Or, I mean, I guess if someone went directly they could but um until i trust it right so just got a a ticket in and i just literally copied and pasted it hi we enjoy using your plugin lightbox anything uh we're using it for stuff um we've been having issues adding galleries to the pages that load in the light boxes previously we were able to add galleries with no problem but about a year ago when we try to add any form of squarespace gallery to those pages the gallery doesn't show up and instead some blank space any help would be appreciated so um the the human response would be yeah you probably need to um update the the plugin file uh, especially you know it was working for them previously they've probably had it for a while they've been using it for probably some years so that that's probably probably the the best step um here's what our uh, bot responded with it seems you're experiencing an issue uh, with correct um, not working properly to resolve this issue please try the following steps so update the plugin to the latest version you can download the latest version from your order download url nice uh, to upload the plugin first delete previously delete cool that's exactly what you should do um, to ensure that the correct code is being used in your site footers injection use the following now this is actually incorrect um because as it it should say you know plug in dash light box there and it doesn't so i'm not exactly sure why but uh we'll have to look into that double check that the gallery settings are configured correctly yeah um clear your cache refresh the page and if, to see if the issue has been resolved if the issue persists please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team for further assistance so this is decent um the first part would definitely solve their problem but then if they took the next step then it would introduce it would introduce a new problem uh this third thing it was just a check so it wouldn't introduce any issues and then finally um the instruction to reach out to our support team for further assistance is a is a good one so uh unfortunately i can't give this response a a passing score because of this this code being flawed um and i'm not and and so i'm not sure why it's flawed now how can i evaluate this well um, I can see what the source documents are. So when when a query is run, what happens behind the scenes is it, it searches for a similar past ticket. So I've got a database of maybe 3,000 past tickets that we've resolved. And uh, this sounds similar to issues we've resolved in the past. And so... Um, my assumption though is i know we don't have any any code in the past ticket that is has a flaw like this so um maybe there's some prompt engineering that we need to do uh i'm not sure but i won't know until i look at what the source document is that it's using to to generate this answer now if it is some prompt engineering that we have to do uh that will happen in either of these two places here in the code so we have the underlying prompt template which is used when we grab past tickets so you can see here um, where it says past tickets and context string so 
whatever past tickets match this query or close you know in meaning to this query it would be here and then you know you are a customer support chatbot you have this context of past tickets uh, please answer the following question so yeah I probably might need to add a little extra prompt in here to say you know do not uh, do not alter any code um, yeah do not alter any code that might be that might help right so I'd, I'd make that change and run the same exact query again and see if that uh, resolves our issue the other place where we can play with the prompt is here and so what happens is there's there's two things there's this prompt for our query engine or our question and answer tool which queries our support ticket database uh, but then there's a a, a a different prompt that uh, instruct instructs our chat agent so the whole chat aspect of our chatbot uh, is here so you are a customer support chatbot your objective is to assist customer with their question by first clarifying the issue then querying the support ticket database for context do not rely on prior knowledge you have access to the following tool and then this is the tool the support ticket database so um it's kind of you it's this prompt is kind of nested within this in a way and uh maybe maybe that's going to resolve it so i'll figure it out and uh if you got questions on this kind of thing interested curious leave a comment let me know and uh yeah there'll be more peace